No religion is superior to any other religion. No language is superior to any other language. My brother who's wearing a turban there deserves the same respect as somebody who doesn't wear a turban. We cannot say, we cannot say, look, we don't like him because he wears a turban and we like him because he doesn't wear a turban. Or, you know, he speaks Tamil so we don't like him and he speaks Hindi so we like him. Or, yeah, or, you know, he speaks Malayalam so we don't like him. Right? And so Telugu. Right? Because these are, see, when we say Telugu, we are not just saying language. Embedded inside Telugu is history, is tradition, is music, is dance, is food, is everything. So if you say to the people of Andhra Pradesh that look, Telugu is not as important as Hindi, you are insulting the people of Andhra Pradesh. Because you are saying to them that your history is not important, your tradition is not important, your food is not important, your music is not important, your forefathers are not important. And this is the simple battle that is being fought in India. The RSS believes that India is one idea. And we believe that India is a multiplicity of ideas. And we believe, by the way, very much like the United States, we believe that everybody should be allowed to participate. We believe that everybody should be allowed to dream. Every should, everybody should be given space, regardless of their caste, language, religion, tradition, history. This is the fight. And the fight was crystallized in the election. When millions of people in India clearly understood that the Prime Minister of India is attacking the Constitution of India. Because what I am saying to you, union of states, respect to languages, respect to religions, respect to traditions, respect to castes, this is all in the constitution. Every single word that I have said to you is in the constitution. The foundation of modern India is the constitution. And, and what people understood in the election, clearly, and I saw it happening. When I used to raise the constitution like this, people understood what I was saying. They were saying that the BJP is attacking our tradition, attacking our language, attacking our states, attacking our histories. And most importantly, what they understood was that anybody who is attacking the constitution of India is also attacking our religious tradition. 